Alright, hi there, MTG Ontario and MyEditorPrive.com. This is the first uh, Scars of Mirrodin sealed uh, video that we're recording, and I think that uh, uh, Rob Davis is probably um, in the same flight or around a flight around this time, so you're probably going to see a couple of, uh, of sealed videos going up at the same time, and this is all in preparation for uh, GP Toronto, which is um, less than a week away, so or roughly a week away. So, so let's get started here. Um, the first thing I like to do uh, when I'm playing a steel deck is sort by rarity to see what bombs I'm working with. So we got a Phoenix, uh, Middle Craft guy, which is really good. Tempered Steel, which kind of makes me want to go Middle Craft. It's Champion, another Middle Craft card. Uh, so it looks like we have a bunch of the workings for a Middle Craft deck. Let's uh, sort by color again. Alright, so first thing I do, uh, I go through each color and I put in all the thick cards I think are playable. Uh, I think this card is decent. Let's try that. Um, what's this card? No. Uh, duh, 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 duh. That's fine. Let's see. I, I was on the fence about this card, and I actually think that for 7 mana, it's decent for sealed, but I'd rather not start it if I could afford it. For 7 mana, I'm usually looking at rares that win the games by themselves. Alright, so we have a bunch of artifacts in already, and <coughs> it looks like the poison deck is not coming together. So I'm probably gonna cut black right away. There's nothing there. Um, looking at this blue, there's not too much that excites me. There's like a couple of flyers, like a trinket mage. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing really here that I want to play. So I'm gonna cut blue right away. Uh, green has only this. Oh, sorry, not this guy. Only this guy removal spell and then like these these cards are really good but it's not like the removal or anything I think they're situationally amazing cards but uh, otherwise like green looks kind of blank to me I'm gonna sit those two cards on the side and cut the rest of the green for now uh, it looks like we're looking at a white red deck um, like we got blast Ember Smith, Shatter, uh, and like a bunch of decent creatures in red. And yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with like a white, a white red sort of, um, a white red, a white red sort of metal craft deck. Looks fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sit out the green for now. I'm gonna keep that on the sidelines just in case I want to switch into it so let's see what we got to work with right now um, let's see here probably not gonna need to play the wall of tangle cord and we don't need off color spell bombs um, Like I, I actually, f I'm fine with starting a a Silvok replica if we're not in green because we have a copper from here, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, these can't play. Uh, probably not playing the Dark Steel Mirror Main. Um, Oriok replica is not the greatest, but it's Grey Ogre that gets you metal crafted, so I think that's fine. Mm. Bloodshot training. Doesn't look like we have any dark steel axes or anything, so it's not really easy to get the bloodshot trainee um, active. So I'm gonna cut that. Um, Try infestation. No. It's got a lot of mirrors. Um. Hmm. 
It doesn't look like I need the Fervor in this deck because I don't have the Furnace Celebrations, so it's probably easy to cut that. Um, Silvok Life Staff or Infiltration Lenses. Infiltration Lens is really good in the Infect deck because you want to be getting your guys through, and if they block your guys, your guys are either trading or giving them a bunch of counters, and then at the same time you're drawing cards. Uh, I'm not sure how good it is here. The only reason I'm looking at it is because it's a one man equipment uh, that helps you get metal crafted. But then Silbok Life Staff is also fine because it actually gives you power. <laughs> like I look at Silbok Life Staff and I'm, I'm immediately thinking of something like um, the old, like the, the decent equipment back in the original Mirrodin block, um, which were really cheap, but then this is not very overpowered compared to back then. Um, I'm gonna cut the lens for now. Looks like we have a lot of cheap artifacts, so we're probably not gonna need to run them. Um, I think I'd rather have Strider Harness than any of them. Whoops. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Strider Harness than any of them, so I'm probably just gonna cut them for now. Strider Harness costs three, albeit, but it for one mana, the same equip cost does a whole lot more, and it's a whole lot scarier for people to deal with. Um, we still make like a million cuts here. Uh, I think the Acolyte, I mean, it's a decent card, but I don't think we need to go on the defensive. I think this is a very aggro deck, especially with the Tempered Steel. Like, I think we just want to have a bunch of artifact creatures and get Tempered Steel and bash them with it. So, on that note, probably don't want uh, Gamma's Warden too. I don't need that many um, Metalcraft guys. I mean, non-artifact Metalcraft guys. It's fine, but it's just like a ground beater. I'd actually rather just have something like um, the 3 mana 2-2 two -two Metalcraft Flyer instead. Or even like, if this guy was another one of these guys. I'm still tempted to cut this guy too, because I just actually want like pure artifacts and very few colored spells in my deck. Um, how many colored spells are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll have to make a million cuts right now still. Um, I'm not sure if I want to cut Liquid Metal Coating, because other than make things artifacts, well, I have a Revoke Resistance and a Shatter, so Liquid Metal Coating can combo with those, and I can, you know, kill lands or artifact or other things make other things to artifact just kill them so I think it's fine it gives you 66% of your metal craft as well um, I think Necropede is too greedy because Necropede is a defensive card and we want to go aggro um, with four mirrors I'm probably looking to play something around 15 or 16 lands <coughs> Probably not gonna play the barb battle gear. None of my guys can survive that. Um, we're at 28 right now. Jeez, I still need to make a lot of cuts. Probably cut one of these berserkers. I mean, I think they're good, but I don't know if I can play them both. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colored spells. All right, let's see if I cut them all. Uh, cut the sun chaser too. Like the idea of my deck is, I want everything to be an artifact creature or metal crafted or helps my metal craft in some way or is a removal spell so I either, at the moment I have three colored removal spells two guys that work really well with artifacts and uh, tempered steel which is insane and uh, the phoenix which is a bomb as well so at the moment I have 25 cards here I think I could probably get away with 15 lands it's really it's really close Oops, wrong card let's see put that down that down down. A lot of artifacts in this deck. So, as it stands, I have 17 creatures and I have one, uh, 25 cards. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 colored spells. So that makes for 18 artifacts. That's a lot for this kind of deck. Oh, wait. this is not a creature, this is a spell. I don't know how good this card is. I've never played with it yet. It never. It doesn't seem like that impressive. It's not like it's indestructible or anything, because artifact creatures can still block it. I don't know why 
why you know people are so impressed by this card. I don't think it's very good, but anyways. So look, I'm not gonna play it. It's a gray ogre that's an artifact creature that will get me metal crafted sooner. So, uh, yeah. So again, we're starting Silvok replica because we got a copper mirror, uh, iron mirror, gold. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, actually, I didn't notice we have we actually have s five mana mirrors. So I'm a lot I'm a lot happier playing 15 lands with this deck now. And uh, beer galvanizer looks like it'll do some work by being the mirror lord. Let's uh, get some lands in this deck. Let's take another quick look at this before we continue. It doesn't look like any of the artifacts that we cut we want to play and it doesn't look like we're missing out anything in red and white. Yeah, this looks like a very typical deck. Um, many will tell you about this format that I think white and red are probably the most powerful colors and I tend to agree with that and the way the way I see it is because Metalcraft is probably one of the most powerful abilities in this format my my favorite archetype of this format though is uh, green black poison but it's very hard to kind of get that in a sealed deck and in draft it's not too hard but it requires a lot of work still but most of the time if you can get it it's pretty good so looking at this it's suggested that we play 9-6 probably because of the Kodolka Phoenix, uh, Kodolka Phoenix that is kind of skewing our color distribution I'm looking at it and then we have two iron mirrors so I probably don't want that many mountains probably something like 8-7 seems better we have two iron mirrors and a gold mirror so we should be fine overall like the Phoenix might be a little hard to get out but we have 10 red sources overall so I think we're good to go and then this gives us eight white sources for our three white cards. This looks fine. The thi that's the thing I like about this format is that you can play very few colored spells and uh, have a kind of sketchy mana distribution because most of, in, especially in this case, the white red uh, metalcraft deck where like 90% of your cards you can play no matter what color your lands are. So I'm happy with this. Yeah, so we're having, we have 15 lands with uh, one, two, three, four, five mana mirrors. And the way I count mana mirrors is they're usually like about a half, like most people that I know count them as like half a land or even a third of a land. So every three mana mirrors counts as like another land that you can take out of your um, overall deck. And I, I kind of get a little bit more generous with uh, that kind of um, counting and I count them as half. So as it is, I count them as two and a half lands right now. So I technically, to me, I have 17 and a half lands. Some people would say I'm just on uh, just barely 17 lands, maybe just barely, just above 16 lands. But I think that this deck doesn't need that much mana because of it ha because of the amount of two drops it has. <laughs> so, and um, most of most of these cards seem like they'll be easy to cast other than maybe like the five drops and coming back mask can come down at any point so yeah I think this deck's good um, there's a few like <coughs> random cards here and there that don't look they like v they don't look very good like random gray ogres or three drops <coughs> that other be other than being a creature it doesn't look like they're gonna serve much of a purpose like Oryok replica or Volshock replica but they're artifact creatures, so Tempered Steel likes that. Anyways, um, yeah, so I submitted, so we'll uh, join you back here for uh, round one.